What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC. And one of the things that I got into in 2022 was functional pocket art. And one of the brands that really, really was into is JRW gear. So that, this video is kind of based on that. I'm gonna to touch on a bunch of these products really quickly, talk about the costs and kind of the function, but really just kind of wanted to spotlight a brand that I'm into that most of these items I don't make separate videos on. I did make one on the bench blade recently, so not gonna talk a lot about that. But for the most part, I'm just kind of ordering these. You'll see them show up in a pouch video, that sort of thing, and then don't really talk about them in video. So I really just wanted to put a spotlight on this. I'll try to do more stuff like this if I have a decent collection of gear that's not gonna get a video. But I'll start out with the Curator Flex over here on the left, or top, however, it's at an angle, so however you wanna look at that. But these release every month on the first Friday of the month for $35 on the website. I got almost all of these through regular drops with the exception of the teal and the pink. I picked those up from the Facebook group on the secondary market, but the rest of them I was able to secure from drops. I am missing eight total. I wanna complete my collection in 2023, and so try and grab all of the drops as well as the eight that I'm missing. But these are the least functional, most pocket art of all of the items on the table. Although I have used these before to drop screws in so they don't roll away. That's not really their intended purpose. They're just really for looks and they're a flexible, more obtainable version of the regular curator, which is typically in metal and is significantly more expensive than these. Would like to grab a metal curator in 2023 as well. Although I'd like to get my first one from a drop or at a show directly from JRW gear before I buy one off secondary. I'm not opposed to secondary, obviously. I'm gonna to need to get a lot of them on secondary to complete my collection, but as much as possible, I do like to support the maker because I'm a fan of them. They don't get money when you buy them on secondary. They did on the initial drop, but there's no kind of repeat revenue on that stuff. And so I like to support them as much as possible. Now, the exception to that $35 price point was December's. And so in December, they released two for $50. You have the silver and gold. And I'm not sure how well that's gonna pick up on camera, but these do have a little bit of a shine to them and was just kind of a fun set for the holidays. But those were two for 50 and you couldn't separate them, so you had to buy both. And, but usually they're gonna be $35. I also wanted to mention the only item not, on, not from JRW gear on the table is these stands that are holding my curators. And these are from Tinker Force and they're extremely cheap. This is the four, this one holds four, and this one fits in their maintenance tray. They also have a five and a 10. This is a 10 here. You can get them for super cheap, choose your color. There's probably like 15 different colors you can choose from and they'll 3D print them to order. And so definitely gonna be needing another one soon. Obviously both of these are almost full, but you can get those from Tinker Force and I'll link to both Tinker Force and JRW gear in the description. Neither are affiliate links, just companies that I like. Now, next up is why these aren't really super functional because the one function that I used them for is what these were released for. And these are the Flex Tray Minis. You can get these for 20 bucks. These ones are almost always available. The Flexes sell out relatively quickly. The December ones lasted a little bit, but they also sold out. But these ones are readily available. I have three of the four colors. The other color is gonna be this gray color. And these are really meant to hold your screws, washers, that sort of thing, and keep them from rolling away. But they also fit the Curator Flex or the regular size metal curator. So if you want to protect them, you can put them inside of this little sleeve and it'll keep them protected. That's more for the metal in terms of protection. It also adds just kind of a contrasting color if you want to do that. You can put them either direction, pyramid side down or up, and they'll store in there in the pouch. So pretty easy to carry both of these at the same time. These are, again, relatively cheap at 20 bucks and just good for on the go. They've got kind of a non-slip bottom, so if you put these on a car hood or something, it's probably not gonna slide away, although I haven't tested that. They just have a little bit of a grippiness to the bottom of them. Next up is the bench blade. Again, not gonna talk a ton about this just because I already did a video on it, but these are $45 for this Cerakoted version, $35 for the stainless steel version, or maybe it's aluminum actually, and then $45 for the brass version. The next up is the Curator Flex bead, and 
I have four of these actually. I have two glow in the dark and two red, but three of them are on zipper pulls, so I didn't want to pull those off. But that's probably another thing that I'm going to get more into in 2023 is beads. I don't really put lanyards on my knives, but have been using them on zipper pulls a lot lately and liking them. So definitely want to up my collection of these. These beads are also not super expensive. You can get them for 25 bucks. I think it's a two pack usually for 25 bucks. So pretty cheap and really cool beads there. You got a nice grip. Those pyramids just make for a nice grip and work really well on zipper pulls. Now these last three items are part of the utility series, so they're a little bit less pocket art, more utility, but still still look really cool and I would still consider them pocket art. The bench blade's actually part of that same series. So I'm gonna start with the tough clip. I got mine in titanium, $45, and it's just a key dangler. So this flat portion at the top of the paper clip works really well on a belt loop. You can slide your key ring right onto here and they'll just hang your keys. It comes with an o-ring if you're worried about the keys coming off by sliding around but i use a clip this small kind of clip to clip it to the the tough clip when i'm using it and the clip isn't big enough to slide past here so don't really have to worry about that so i don't keep the o-ring on there but if you do need one it comes with it and if you lose it they're only three dollars to replace there's a thinner version of this the cash clip and same exact design but a little bit thinner and has a money sign at the top but that one's designed as a money clip, can hold about 16 bills, and really good if you carry a lot of cash. I'm not someone who carries a lot of cash, so don't really need that one, but this one works really well as a key dangler. There's also a brass version available for $35. Next up is the Cheat Sheet Mini, and this is a version of the Cheat Sheet Pro, just kind of a miniaturized version of it. Again, I got it in titanium for $45, but they're also available in brass for $35. And the purpose of this is the same as the flex tray minis. These you can set down on a flat surface and it will keep your screws from rolling away. So you can just drop them in there. It's gonna keep them from rolling away. There's a couple holes along the side. If you have different size screws, maybe a pocket clip screw up here and the body screws in the square, it can separate them if you need to. And this can also just sit on your key ring, which is super convenient. Although I don't carry it that way because if you put it on your key ring, that means that you have to remove it before it will be able to lay flat on a surface. So I'll typically just throw this in a soft wallet or a pouch, something like that. And it's really compact out of the way and you, you don't even notice this there. It also has some measurement tools on it, but I've never gotten any use out of it. On the left hand side, you have an inch and a half long ruler, and on the right, you have one single centimeter underneath this Stay Tough graphic. So not, I don't get use out of it, but if you do need to measure something pretty small really quickly, it's there, so an extra function at least. And then the item that kind of inspired this video, I picked this up, wanted to make a video about it, knew the video was going to be pretty short because it is a fork, there's not a ton to talk about, but wanted to make a video on it, so thought I'd kind of gather everything together, show it all off at once. And this is the meat tool. This one's only available in titanium, but it's food grade titanium, $45. And it's called the meat tool because you're not really gonna wanna eat salad or pasta with it because the tines on this are extremely sharp. And so it's perfect for stabbing into tough meat and cutting meat and just holding things in place. But if you're eating something softer, it's sharp enough that if you stab yourself too hard, it will draw blood. And so probably don't wanna use it for that kind of that kind of eating but yeah, you definitely can if you're willing to risk it it is titanium and it's relatively small that was something that surprised me based on pictures to in real life is just how small it is 4.7 inches long so it has some nice length to it and about an inch wide at 0.99 inches it's really thin though it's only 0 0.06 inches thick and weighs in at 1.2 ounces it's obviously functional as a fork looks really good as well. You have the JRW on the back and the tough guy dressed as a chef. He's got the chef hat on and a fork and knife on the front. And this is based on the Champ fixed blade. So there's a, the silhouette's gonna be exactly the same as a fixed blade. That's another item that I really like to pick up in 2023 if I can find it at a reasonable cost or re-releases is the Champ fixed blade to go with it because I think it would be pretty cool to have the set. But just a fun item, not something you normally think of in terms of 
pocket are is forks, but this one's really cool. Has a lot of options for grip. When you're using it, you can carry it, and this little hole just adds a little bit of extra grippiness to it. And there's also cutouts on the side, so you can use that for some extra grippiness. The triangle on the back is nice if you just want to hang it up somewhere. And overall, just a really, really cool and unique item that there's not a lot of, like I said, not a lot of pocket art companies out there that are making forks. So a lot of items that I want to add from JRW Gear in 2023, I already mentioned the flexes, I want to get a metal curator, the champ fixed blade. And then lastly was an item that just released the judge. I want to get one in brass. I was there for the drop. I tried to add the slip as well and then ended up getting cart snipes. So should have ordered them in two separate orders. It went really quick, but it's just a spinner decision maker slash bottle opener. Really would like to grab one of those as well in 2023. But otherwise, let me know what you think of these items down in the comments below and what other companies you're picking up these kind of functional pocket art from. It's something that I've been getting more and more into. There's a couple companies I follow. A lot of them I just have one or two items. JRW Gear is one that really just speaks to me, I guess, design-wise. And it's also pretty cheap, with the exception of the curator. The curator is gonna be pretty pricey, but everything on the table here is under $50. Well, obviously per item, not combined, but each item is under $50, so nothing that's super out there in terms of pocket art, and it just looks really cool for that price. And so, Big fan of JRW gear. I'll link to the website in the comments, but if you want to know about drops, definitely follow them either on Instagram or join the Facebook group. Most of the items here are relatively in stock. I think minus the flex and the beads, those sell out relatively quickly, but there's different versions of most of these. I think the meat tool finally sold out as well, but imagine that's gonna be back in stock. And I also think you can get it as part of the utility gift set. If you don't have any of these items yet or you're giving it as a gift, there's kind of bundles that have a bunch of the items in there. So there's two different ones, one based around the fork, one based around the bench blade. And so if you really want them and don't mind buying all of the items as a bundle, those are still available as well. But again, let me know what you think. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.